Hi, I'm Mariangela da Cunto and welcome back to Earth from Space. Today we explore the Republic of Maldives and its surroundings in this spectacular image captured by Copernicus Sentinel-3. The wide swath of the ocean and color instrument on board the Copernicus Sentinel-3 mission allows us to enjoy this view of all 1,200 islands that make up the Republic of Maldives. A popular tourist destination, the Maldives lie in the Indian Ocean, around 700 kilometers southwest of mainland India, visible in the top right. The nation consists of a chain of small coral islands that are grouped into clusters of atolls, visible as circular or oval-shaped reef structures. Scattered across 90,000 square kilometers of ocean, the Maldives are one of the most geographically dispersed countries in the world. Most atolls of the Maldives consist of a large ring-shaped coral reef supporting numerous small islands. In this image captured in March 2020, the Uvadu and Addu atolls are partially covered by clouds. Different cloud formations can be seen dotted around the image. The difference in appearance is most likely due to the different height above the surface. The Maldive archipelago is frequently covered by clouds, making this almost cloud-free image quite rare. One of the world's lowest-lying countries, more than 80% of the Maldives' land is less than one meter above mean sea level, making its population of over 500,000 people extremely vulnerable to sea swells, storm surge and severe weather. The UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, in a special report, states that the global mean sea level is likely to rise to around one meter by the end of this century, which could ultimately cover the majority of the nation. Scheduled for launch from the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, the Copernicus Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite is the first of two identical satellites to be launched sequentially to provide accurate measurements of sea level change. In order to better understand how rising seas will impact humanity, scientists and researchers need long climate records. Copernicus Sentinel-6 will take on the role of radar altimetry reference mission continuing the long-term record of measurements of sea surface height started in 1992 by the French-US Topex Poseidon and then the JSON series of satellite missions. By continuing this time series, Sentinel-6 will allow for further climate research and help scientists monitor the effects of climate change. And that's all for this edition. From the ESA Web TV studios, I'm Mariangela D'Acunto. Have a great day.